Hello, I thought I'd show you what you get if you Google curvature of the Earth. Uh, mostly disinfo and misleading info uh, on the first two pages of your Google search, including this very first one right here. In an earlier question on the curvature of the Earth, Harley showed that the Earth curves approximately 8 inches per mile. And it's 8 inches for the first mile, but uh, it varies inversely with the square of the mile after that. So you have to square each mile and then times it times 8. If you don't do that, you get uh, answers like 6 feet and 9 miles when it should be 54 feet and 9 miles. And if we click on this, uh, you can see somebody uh, called in or uh, wrote in and asked Penny a question. She answered it. That's what you saw on the front, which is wrong. And then just below it, it says, In April 2004, we received a message from Jerry, a retired engineer who pointed out an error in my solution. So all the way from 2004, <laughs> and this is the first result from the Google search. So they're using something from 2004 that's totally wrong. Um, you know, this guy Jerry does explain it down here using the Pythagorean theorem and, and does it right. So you get the right solution, but why aren't they showing this in that little window instead of the wrong answer? It's because Google's a bad guy, too. Uh, and if you look, the next couple of links are taking you to the, uh, the exact same page. So the first three links are taking you to Math Central, um, which is wrong info. And I've seen this on a lot of videos and in a lot of comments lately. So I know that's what, what's happening. People are going to Google, and they see this, and they say, oh, here it is. They take it and take off. Wikipedia is wrong. Um, they even have a warning on their site about, here, I'll show you that real quick. It's just, it's got a whole bunch of different formulas for, you know, just to get confused on. Um, but right here, this section has multiple issues. Uh, this section does not cite any references or sources. This article's factual accuracy is disputed. So, don't trust Wiki. Be careful of Google. Uh, look at this, exact formula for the spherical Earth. They give you the formula, but then they take you up to a satellite that's 2,000 kilometers above the Earth. And then say, okay, figure it out with all these numbers. So they don't make it easy for you. Um, and if you want easy, you're going to have to get all the way to the third page. Actually, when I did this yesterday, uh, the first two pages had all bunk information that I wouldn't share with anybody but I will point out that today's search brought up um, one other guy and it's this one the earth curvature for high pointers showed up on the second page today and this guy actually does a pretty good job so I would probably share his site with somebody that was trying to learn it but I wouldn't share any of these other ones like Yahoo answers the number one answer is wrong there is the right answer on there like about eight down but it's it's at the very bottom <laughs> and it's not shown as the right answer so that's what you're gonna find in the first two pages if you make it to the third page which I don't think most people do you will find right here look at this right at the top uh, the Atlantean conspiracy which is Eric Dubay and he explains it very well because he wants you to understand the formula and he wants you to be able to go out and check the curvature of the earth for yourself so yeah he explains it very well while the others are not and confusing you uh, because they don't want you to be able to do that so I'll leave you with um, with Eric talking about the curvature of the earth and Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Uh, experiments have been done and repeated. Calculations have been made. Uh, and you can make them yourself to prove that the Earth doesn't have the curvature that they say it does. So if, if we are living on a ball, um, 
they say it's 25,000 miles in circumference. And using spherical trigonometry, it goes out to there being eight inches uh, per mile varying inversely with the square of the mile, which means that after the first mile, there's an eight inch drop. After the second mile, two squared, four, times eight is 32, so it's 32 inches. After the next mile, three, three miles, three times three, nine, times eight, 72, 72 inches. So this is the kind of dip that you get on, an, on a sphere. Um, 25,000 miles in circumference. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure this out. NASA agrees with this number anyway, so it's it's not a debated number that it, uh, it goes down this way. What is debated is whether it actually does so. So there's been experiments done um, using flags, using laser leveling, using uh, sextants and theodolites and different instruments to check over a series of miles whether this curvature is actually happening or not. And time and time again, when you take these measurements, uh, there's no curvature whatsoever, not even a little bit of curve. So even if they got the circumference of the ball Earth off by, say, four times, if it was 100,000 miles around instead of 25,000, 25, you'd still have some measurable, calculable curvature, which just isn't there when you take these measurements. And anyone can do them. You just need a flat area long enough. Um, They've done measurements over 6 miles, 10 miles, 20 miles. And then with things like uh, lighthouses, uh, you can see the light from lighthouses at sea, depending on where you are and how, how high the light is, uh, for over 100 miles, um, much further than you could on a ball earth, even with uh, refraction. 